Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set one of the digital I.O. lines on a Mio DAC to output in FlexLogger Lite. Now I'm going to start, I've got FlexLogger Lite open, and this is how it opens up by default. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get the analog and counter sections out of the way by collapsing them. And the way that you switch one of the digital lines, there's 16 digital pins on every Mio DAC, and they can be either input or output. And the way to switch them on FlexLogger Lite is you click on this hamburger menu, and select set line direction. And now I can just go through and select whatever lines I want to be output. And so in this case, I'm just randomly selecting 5, 7, 13, and 15. I click on OK. And now if I go back and I select one of those lines to configure it, see it says physical generation. Uh, and I can select line. And then now I can go through and I can set the value of my, of my pin if I want, whatever it, the default will be when it starts up. Now in this case, I've gone ahead and wired an LED to my Mio DAC, which is plugged into my laptop, uh, and I wired it into pin 7, which is why I selected pin 7 in this demo. So if I switch that to high, you can see, maybe give a little shadow, that my LED is turned on to blue. And if I go low, it turns off. And I click on done. I'll go ahead and leave it configured. And I'm going to grab one of the other lines and oops, that's one that I selected. If I pick one that I didn't select, you see it's physical measurement. So line two is still on input, but line seven and line 15, if I forget, I can go back and click on the hamburger again. Seven, 15, five, and 13 are all set to output. And so that's how that works. Uh, something else you could do while I'm here in FlexLogger Lite, if I flip over to the screen, I can grab a button and select that line seven. And now I can click on the button on my FlexLogger light screen and it toggles my LED. And that's how you set a digital IO line to output on MioDAC using FlexLogger light.